What is up guys? It is me, Heidi Powell. Welcome back to my channel. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe because I have some amazing things coming out. I don't want you to miss it. Now, today I'm doing something a little bit different. So I have a problem. I have four kids. I have a really busy life and I might be one of the only moms in my neighborhood that does not cook food for my kids on a regular basis. If it's not easy, if it's not convenient, if it's not something made for like first grader, I'm just not gonna do it. So the story of our life is usually pre-cooked extra lean ground turkey, bags of frozen rice, frozen vegetables that we heat in the microwave, anything super easy or pre-made foods that we buy from the store in bulk or we buy from somebody that pre-cooks it. So my kids though came home and they're like, mom, mom, I really want you to cook food. Like so-and-so's mom cooks every night for them. So I decided to do something different. I actually, and I, I've toyed around with this concept before. There's another couple companies that I've used. So today you're gonna see my experience with Blue Apron. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel, my honest opinion, the things that worked, the things that didn't work for me, and um, really just if I think it's worth it or not. Really? Just got back yeah. into town and dinner arrived at my doorstep. Oh! <laughs> Boxes is blue apron, oh, you guys. That's cool. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah. that's good. Are you excited to make this? What, yeah. what, what are we making? <gasps> Seared chicken, chicken and, and lemon, lemon Dijon sauce. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Holiday. <gasps> oh, whoops. Poison <laughs> glaze meatloaf. Coconut Let's make this. Chicken. Let's make this. Okay, we'll make this. Let's do it. So it looks like all three arrived in this one box. I love it. So it has a big ice pack on top. This is a refrigerated box. We all know how untalented I am in the kitchen. Actually, I am talented. I just don't take a lot of time. So this makes it super easy, but everything is perfectly portioned. All the ingredients are there for me. It was super easy to go online. I picked out three meals that I knew our family would love because I'm actually in town for three days right now. I'll tie it. Oh, yeah. Ruby, why don't you work on getting a chair so you can help. I do not have to go to the grocery store. I am not a fan of the grocery store because when I come home from my trips, I am busy. The last thing I want to do is go spend an hour. Actually, it's more like two or three hours by the time Excuse I me, figure Mother out what Mary. I'm going to make and I Excuse make my me. list. Did you call me Mother Mary? So I get to literally pick the meal and have everything shipped to my door the way that I like it. And then I can make family time out of this. Okay, so let's get our recipe and pull out all the right ingredients. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It says it takes 25 to 30 minutes to make. And then you flip over the back and it has, oh, Ruby, you can get a pen because we check these off as oh, we go. Yeah. Oh, we need this. I'm like starting to sweat thinking of making all this food. Wait, flip it over. We need to get our checklist, our ingredient list. We need the coconut milk. There's a can I saw. Um, ghee. G H E E. Ghee. Oh wait. Ghee. <laughs> Ruby, can you say ghee? Ghee. Aww. Did you know? Cauliflower comes in a variety of colors, including orange, purple, and green. I knew about the purple. I didn't know about orange. <laughs> is this a garlic clove? No. Mars, this is cabbage. What this is This is not a garlic clove. Gosh dang it. it oh my gosh. Garlic. Ruby, is this a garlic clove? What's a garlic clove? Little round thing. Like a little bolita. Oh, a bolita? Now we need two tablespoons of savory, not just tomato chutney, but it must be savory tomato chutney. Chutney. Okay, let's, uh, we're, next we're gonna get the rice cooked. Um, Mars has the pot out. She's gonna go ahead and blend the pot. <laughs> She's not blending any pot. George, can you please stop saying why? Why, George? I'm just gonna swap. Perfect, um, you forgot the rice. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh. I took a little bite. Now pat the chicken dry with paper towel, season with salt and pepper in a large nonstick yeah. pan. It's so easy when it's cut. Like, I hate cutting raw meat. 
Okay, so now Mars, go ahead and season with salt and pepper. I'll do the salt. Sa salt. There we go. Ooh. That's good. Yum. Okay, hey, Mars, can I have that um, pot holder? Yeah. The rice is done. I feel pro. That was so easy. Turn that off. Okay, we got the chicken cooking over here. Mars, why don't you come bring those carrots over? Okay. Grab those carrots. We got the carrots. We're gonna slow. Oh, be super careful. It, it'll splash. Yeah, go ahead and add the it's coconut milk. And then start nine, stirring nine. that. Oh, um, the curry paste. On top of the bread. We got the girls mixing in the ghee. I want mixing in the ghee it. with the garlic powder right now. Are you guys having fun? Yes. Are you having fun, Rubes? Yeah, I just mixed it up really delicate and really, really. Delicate. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's let's see what Rubes. What have you been mixing? What is that? Um, What's it called again? Ghee. Ghee. <laughs> All right, so the chicken, the sauce has thickened enough. I'm gonna turn this off now. And then I'm gonna add my beautiful pan of green cauliflower. So yummy. We have almost a finished dish. Look, it's like perfectly browned. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling like Rachel Ray. So now we're gonna move this over. Dang, I want to. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got our coconut curry chicken with green cauliflower. We got rice, the tomato chutney, we got the naan, we got the mon. Oh, we're all just digging Yep, dig in, tell me how it is. Tell me how my cooking skills are. Hold on. How are my cooking skills? Mine and Marley's and Ruby's. Look out, the male lion is coming through so everyone Good. Can I please have more? So good. Yeah, you can. Okay, let's do it. Chris, you can have this. Okay, so Blue Apron is offering an amazing deal. The first 100 people to swipe up are going to get $60 off their first three weeks. I have to say, guys, this made it super, super simple, super easy. I am really happy about the process. Um, the kids loved it too. Cash is it so good. Mom is good. I wish Molly didn't take all the rice. I didn't. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, I better go clean up this fight. All right, so in a nutshell, I have to say, so if I were to give Blue Apron between one and five stars, I would say Blue Apron was four, four to four and a half stars. So that would make it 4.25 stars. And I'll say, what was amazing, I love that it showed up at my doorstep. I love that I had so many options to choose from. And I will say that the options online um, had a huge amount of variety. I also love that every single time I go to their site, the options change. So I, I don't get sick of meals. I don't, they don't get stale where I know some of the, um, recipe meal delivery services that I used in the past, they didn't change often. So blue apron did a really great job of that. Um, I, the food arrived super, uh, super nicely packed and, and it was still cold and it was really easy. When I opened up the box, I had the recipes that I had ordered, um, like laying there telling me exactly what it was, what each ingredient was for. So I do love that. Um, I also loved how user friendly, well, oh, their produce was actually really nice and in really great shape. And I've had some bad experiences with that. I, I also love how the recipe cards are laid out so easily. You can literally see exactly what's needed for the recipe that you're cooking. It goes through step by step. Now I will say the cons. So those are the good things. Um, the cons, if I were to name any, I don't like that it did not give me the option and maybe it did and maybe I missed it, um, but I'm not a very great chef. So for me, the Blue Apron methodology compared to some of the other ones was a bit above my skill level. Um, that was like for sure Martha Stewart skill level and maybe it wasn't, but peeling carrots and chopping them is like too much to ask of me. So I would have preferred chopped and peeled carrots that I just had to pour in. Um, but it did make me feel pretty domesticated for just a minute. Um, and then it just, it, it did say 25 to 30 minutes, 25 to 35 minutes prep time. It took me closer to an hour. And again, that might be just because I am like not super Martha Stewart, Rachel Ray E. Um, but I'm sure if my cooking skills were a little bit better, that probably would have been easier. Um, and then, yeah, I would just say the only con is I do feel like Blue Apron, as opposed to some of the other ones like Home Chef that I've used, um, 
Blue Apron is more for the people that want to feel like a real chef. And I don't care about feeling like a chef. I just care about cooking my kids dinner. Um, so I would do it again, but I would do it again knowing it's gonna take more time and it's gonna make me feel like a champ at the end because I actually cooked a really gourmet food. Now the most important part is taste. It gets like a 12 out of 10. It is like beyond on taste. Every single one of my kids loved everything that I made. Um, so I'd say, oh, you know what? I changed my mind. So I gave it 4.25 stars. I gave it four and a half stars. Blue Apron was definitely a win. We will definitely order it again. So I hope this helps you. If there's anything else you want me to review or try out, please feel free, comment below and let me know. Thanks guys, don't forget to subscribe down below or up high. I don't know where it is anymore. Love you guys, I'll see you next time. Mwah.